Welcome to Tales from the Caveside, where Lillian and Chris, we bought a cave house and finca on the outskirts of a small Spanish town. Follow us as we learn to renovate and create a home that we will be proud of. Hello, yeah, it's Monday morning. And squinty squinty in the beautiful sunshine. I know. Not I know. complaining. No, no, I've got my, I've got a t-shirt on and my long shorts. I may end up having to change my t-shirt, more of a vesty thing, but I'm hoping not. So, up down on my back. It seems to be okay now. A little twingy, but we'll see how we get on today. I've got lots and lots of lime to mix. Mm -hmm. um, we had a visit this morning. Uh, Amanda from uh, Settle in Spain, she popped in to, to say hello and we had a quick coffee. So uh, that was nice. We had some breakfast, didn't we? It was. It was lovely. Yes. Thank yeah. you for visiting. You know you're always welcome, Amanda. Yes. Next time, bring Dave. Obviously, <laughs> Dave. obviously you couldn't. You just dropped him at the airport. But you know what I mean. That's right. That's <laughs> right. Right. We'll get on. Get a move on and get some uh, lime mixed. I think I might just. Yeah, I might not bother. <laughs> oh, well, my back's coming. <laughs> right. We'll get set up. Yes. More um, of the same, unfortunately. Yes. On with the show and all that jazz. Yes. So the intention is to have this bag of sand. This small bag used by the end of today and make a hit on there. But if we don't get into that, that's fine. Um, so I've got the cement mixer out just to give it a quick test. That's running well. Get everything else all sorted out. And we'll get on. What's the temperature in there now? Twelve. Yes. Well, that's all right. But yesterday, when we were sat out here in the sun, and we had the doors open and the air just naturally moving around, it was 13 yeah. or two. So it's lost a degree over now. So that's good. It's actually quite pleasant in comparison to outside. Yeah. As yeah. opposed to being horribly cold, because outside was cold as well. Well, that's it. It's 20, 21, I think I just saw yeah. on the machine inside. 21 degrees here in the shade. So it's going to get toasty and in the sun. It's yeah. going to be five or six degrees higher. Right, I better get a move on, otherwise I'll be holding you up. Yes. Okie doke. Okay, so absolutely awesome day. Lovely breeze. Well, yeah, and no. Yes, it's a lovely breeze, but no, it's not a lovely breeze because when you're pouring the lime in the bag, you know, the dust into the bucket, it's not like it tends to blow it all over the place. So, uh, three mixes in. That bag's gone. Brilliant. Well, bag's gone, it's in the buckets a little bit there so that's awesome and um, Lillian had a problem with the ceiling spraying bucket it's a uh, handle came loose and it spun round and she lost the load on the on the floor but it wasn't that bad really she fixed it I've had to retighten all this lot up and I've had to put cable ties on here in the hope that this will stay still bit of a bad bad design but uh, there you go. Oh look, hello. Hello. Hey, oh. Why are you off out? <laughs> Cheeky monkey. So because it took a while between each load, the latest load didn't want to come out of the mixer very well. And it had all dried all around here. So I cleaned the mixer out and I just leave it hanging there to drip. Right, just made the uh, last batch of, of lime. Lillian shouted, have you made it? I said, yes. <clears throat> well, are you ready for it? She went, no. <laughs> so, oh well, it's made. So anyway, what I was gonna get to was this white sand that we need to be as clean as possible is really, really bad. I don't know if you can make it out, all this from the pines. So I'm actually having to sieve it. So I've got this batch here ready for a bucket full. And then that can go into a bucket for the next time. And I'll have to sieve some more and sieve some more. Um, we did use the other bag up, but the other bag's got hole in it. So I can't sort of like sieve it into the other bag, which is a real shame. And we don't have anything else to sieve into. So, uh, that's something we're going to have to think about. So that's going to slow the process down a little bit. 
Um, I don't remember if we mentioned or not, but these bits, when they go into into the mix and then put it on the walls, if we don't spot them, when it dries, it leaves like a brown stain and it's there forever. Uh, and we've tried it before with another piece where we had some um, and we tried to lime wash over it and it came through again. So we literally had to break it out and then patch it. So uh, that's not good. Be all right if we wanted brown walls, but not the white ones. So an update on the almond tree that we've got in this top garden. It's got a few flowers, not many, but lots and lots and lots of leaf. So we won't get a very good almond harvest this year. And we're not actually that bothered. I'd rather have a bad year this year and a brilliant year next. So that tree there's in flower in leaf now. And the almond tree over there that's been hit hard, that height is. And these down here, look, we're not going to get many almonds this year. It's not a bad thing, because we've still got maybe 20 kilos of almonds from last season. So just over a week ago, maybe two weeks, there were hardly any almond flowers here in our area. And now look. Trees are full of them. I don't know if you can make those little trees out through the fence. I'll do that. All these. And this field, that one just over there, on Thursday, so that one there, on Thursday, when I uh, went to my uh, Spanish lessons, I walked down the little, uh, little track and there was none. No flowers at all. And today's Monday. So in the space of a few days, they've all gone mad. Absolutely mad with almond flowers. It's brilliant. Spring's definitely here. We have got some colder days due again. But nothing like what we have had. So that's great. There you go. I don't know if you can see that a little bit better. There. Lovely. So how are you getting on? What do you think? Well, I think you're always getting on really, really well. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Big difference, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Ah, and you, this is the rock you were talking about earlier. Yes. Just this one here. So yep. that's three rocks in this area that we're leaving exposed because they're the really big ones. Yeah, that one's a bit difficult to do because there's a piece of black conduit immediately above it. Yeah. But I'm managing it. That's good. Which I didn't think I would. I thought, it's a good idea. And then, shoot, I may not be able to achieve it. <laughs> but I am achieving it, so that's fine. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. Okay. Oh, I can see why you didn't want that other mix now. Yeah, it's fine. We'll just do more. Yes. All this technical equipment, and I'm standing here lobbing, or sitting here, lobbing plaster of walls. It's like, no. Yes. He has. <laughs> Yes, but you sprayed it first and yes. gave it its keen coat, so to speak. Yep. And you found that spraying it once and then doing it this way is better on these walls? Yes. Over, if you turn the camera on that wall over that, it's going to be dead easy. It could just be sprayed and straight away sponged to give it just a bit of undulation that it has. Mm. Because this has so much between each rock that's sticking out to me like that. There's such a big gap. Mm. I can put a bit on, but it's not getting in there. That's why I'm having to chuck it on, yeah. and I'm forcing it into the gaps. Yes, and also this wall is a really, really crumbly wall. Yes. Um, I think most of the other walls now that we've got, maybe one wall, the rest of them are, are not so crumbly. I don't know about in that back bedroom. I haven't seen it for a while. This bit, this one behind me at the bottom is crumbly. Okay, but it's not at the top. But it's not at the top. No. Um, this whole wall here that I'm just looking at, this isn't very crumbly at all. No, That's brilliant. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah. This wall isn't. Um, but in this area here, it is. And that is the white sand and the construction line that we use, the NHL 5. And it's dried, looking like cement, again. If I flip this for you. Yeah. Look. It's solid now. And you can see, it's still damp down there. But 
it's absolutely solid. Again, it looks like cement and it isn't. It's really disappointing. But it's also, it doesn't matter. But uh, anybody looking at it would say, no, you've used cement. And uh, we haven't. And as you've seen, we've shown you the bags that we're using. And it's not cement. It's just crazy. And it's all because of the, the white sand. But it's, that's the reason why we're using the white sand for the white line. Because when it dries, it goes more of an ivory colour. Yeah. If you look underneath mm -hmm. that rock on the far side over there, it's started to dry properly yeah. there now. Yeah. That's the colour it finishes. That's it. Well, I was threatened with the hose pipe fully dressed, but now my clothes are being delimed. Yes. I'm not that nasty. I'm not a nasty guy. But you do it so hard. And we can't put this stuff in the washing machine. So far, I'll do it. Clean the wheelbarrow, clean all the tools. Yes. Right, Dover. Dover, mind out the way, mate. You're not going to like this. Oh, this is an outside sink. It is. A lavadora. It is. Well done. It is a lavadora. It's actually a frigadero. Oh. It's a sink. A lavadora is a washing machine. So I guess it's. Uh, well, yeah, it's one or the other or both. So that means I am a washing machine then. Yes, you are. You just get the worst off the knees, darling. You've done more, more than enough. The knees no longer bent. When I walked, they were solid. Oh, I didn't have a quick rinse off then. If you're happy with that, I mean, I can yeah. get more. No, uh... no, that's absolutely fantastic. Well, that's my clothes, very kindly rinsed and on the line. And I'll show you what I did today. I've even got clean Crocs. It's amazing. It's amazing. <coughs> Probably not much to see from here because that hasn't changed much. Oh, I've got to walk in this and make Crocs dirty. <coughs> There's overspill here from the ceiling, but that's fine. That will just sponge off tomorrow. The rest of the ceiling has now been done. You can see how wet it is. And that wall has been done, the cubby holes have been done, that's all ready for sponging tomorrow. Left this rock exposed. And then with the leftovers that I had from the ceiling, I started down on this area here. So it's had a coat starting to hide these pipes. <clears throat> the ceiling sprayer turns out is awesome in the right place, but it's incredibly messy. Oh, cool. I can just get past the stretchy Dover. Yeah, mega. Oh, another bit of stone sticking out. Yes. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. That's going to look good with just random bits of stone. Exactly. Oh, I think so anyway. Yeah. I'm sure somebody may not, but... I like it. That's what matters. That's right. The bit at the top here isn't nice and neat because we've got to tie it into when we do the ceiling up yep. here. So that's fine. Very far corner over there still, where my shadow of my finger is. Yes, isn't that still needs completing, doesn't it? It's just building up, building up. So unfortunately, I can't just stand here and go, oh, no. this area is finished. Because it's not. We seem to have moles. Yes, we had moles overnight. Hey. <laughs> so, awesome. Just sponge down. Yes. Brilliant. I'm happy. Yes, you should be. Let's have a look there. Yeah. Yes. That looks bad, only because I hadn't tidied up the actual countertop there. Well, no. It actually needed that. I think we ought to tile it anyway. Oh, this is going to be tiled, yes, because yeah. it's got a really weird edge to it here, and that will tile it with a nice rounded edge tile. Yes. Awesome. Happy. 
God, it's cold in here with this bit of here. Yes, it's damp. I also have sponged down with some toppy up bits in that little back oh. bedroom, various toppy up yep. bits. But yeah, no, overall happy. Brilliant. Right. We will uh, grab some. Uh, Lunchy on. Lunchy on. And then uh, do a couple other little jobs in here. Yes. So, we're not doing anything in the caves this afternoon. <laughs> Something else has cropped its ugly head, as happens all the time to us. Our technical architect, who is helping us sort out our land registry, has received notification that our application has been rejected because neither he nor I can work out what. So I've now got to go to the people who have rejected it to try and get plans off them as to what they don't like, so we can then see what we have to rectify just to see what's what. So, I'm off out this afternoon. Yes, and he's not allowed to recover these documents because these documents are not in his name. Exactly, exactly. So, one of us has to go. Uh, so, bureaucracy at its best. Don't you just love it? Yes. <sighs> <laughs> Thanks for watching Tales from the Caveside. If you like what we do, Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Drop us a like and leave us a comment. See you on the next one.